Thanks for watching Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. Please hit that like button and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated and really helps out the channel. So we have another CRH, which stands for Coin Roll Hunt. So we're going to do some coin roll hunting. But before we start, big shout out going out to Silver Mac. As soon as this video is over, please click on the link below this video in the description section and uh, visit his channel. Like his videos, subscribe to Silver Mac, and tell him Coin Collecting Fun sent you. So let's get at it. We have 50 cents. That's 50 coins. They're all pennies. And uh, let's see what we find here. These are from the bank. And um, what we're looking for is pre-1982 cents because those are made from 95% copper. So that means the metal value is double the face value. That's like doubling your money. That is currently illegal to melt down these coins. But if the, uh, the ban on melting these is ever lifted, I would still refuse to melt these down because it's easily identifiable bullion. I mean, they're coins. I love metal and coin form. You know, so it's, it's always going to have some kind of value, numismatic value, especially if they're in really good condition. And the older they get, it's going to have the date on there for as long as these coins exist. So definitely planning on holding on to the 95% coppers, the pre-1982s. And that is all coins minted before the year 1982 are uh, made from 95% copper. Now the coins after 1982 are made from 97.5% zinc with just a thin jacket, if you will, of 2.5% copper. So it's just copper coating. Nice jacket, eh? <laughs> so those are worth about half a cent in metal value. So, you know, legal or not, somebody would be crazy to melt down a 97.5% zinc coin, you know, because of the metal content only being worth half a cent. So that'd be ridiculous. Now, if we find any that are actually 1982, those are from the transition year, meaning that um, some of them were still made from 95% copper, but others were starting to be made from 97.5% zinc. So the only way to find out is at a future time, I'll either weigh them or throw them against a wooden table. If they weigh more than their copper, and if they make a nice high quality metallic ringing sound instead of a dead kind of thud sound, then they're 95% copper. We're also looking for wheat back scents. Uh, I don't find them on every roll, but uh, they are the really older pennies, you know, like 70, 80 year old pennies. And those are worth anywhere from like five to 10 times the face value. So uh, talk about a return on investment. I, you know, save every one of those that I find in my change and through coin roll hunts. And of course, through my change in coin roll hunts, I save the pre-1982 cents as well. I also like to find uh, one cent coins from Canada. Those are beautiful and they were discontinued, I think in 2013. And there's a couple pennies I have around somewhere that I found from coin roll hunts that I did like five or six years ago that were from South America, and they were just beautiful coins. So same kind of copper look, but uh, from South America. So there we go. There's the first coin we're looking at today, 1972. That is 95% copper. So we'll go ahead and start setting that aside in the 95% copper pile. Okay, 2004. That's after 1982. So that's mostly zinc. Same with this one. This is uh, mostly zinc from the year 2004. This one looks like it might be copper. And indeed it is. It's from 1968. So definitely uh, interested in holding on to that one. That's going to join the copper pile. And so will this one from the year 1980. Another beautiful 90, 95% uh, uh, copper find there. All righty. Okay, now this one is from 1959. Wow, great condition for such an older coin. This is like over 60 years old, you know, or around 60 years old, I'm sorry. At the time of this filming, it'll be uh, coming up on 60 years old. But very soon it'll be over 60 years old, so that is 95% copper. And a nice old coin there. All right, so this one is from 19... 79 
and that is 95% copper. Okay, this one is 1989, that's 97.5% zinc. This one is from 2000, 2010, 2011, 1987, 2015, here we go. This one is from 1975. So that is 95% copper. Yay! <laughs> 2011, 1964, 95% copper. Very nice. 2012, 2014. 2004 1987 1978 oops 1978 sorry I put that in the put that in the zinc pile accidentally that goes in the copper pile all right 1999. 1976, another 95% copper find. We're doing really good on those today. 2016, 1988, 2003, 1986, 1994. There we go, 1982, the transition year. So we're going to put that in the 1982 pile to be determined at a future time whether it is uh, mostly zinc or mostly copper. 1982, 2015, 2002, 1970. That's going in the 95% copper pile. 1988, 1992, 2015, 1969, 95% copper. Very nice. 2001, 1998, 1987. Let's see, this one is from 2005, 2012, and 2015. Okay, so let's take a look at all the 95% copper coinage that we have found. Sorry about the squeaky noise in the background. That's my daughter's hamster. Her name is Melanie. Melanie the hamster, we like to call her. She's running around at her wheel sometimes during the video. Okay, 1979. Okay, so there we go. So that's, that's the first one. Second one. Third. Fourth. Fifth, whoops, all right, sorry I bumped the camera there and also the battery went so low I can't use a flash right after that when I tried to readjust the camera, so we have that there, so we're up to five, these are the five that I was just showing, right here, all right, okay. Right. Just push these over a little bit. OK, 
Okay, so we've got five, and I'll go get the others. Be right back. Okay, there's the sixth one. These are all the 95% copper finds. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And eleven. So eleven. 95% copper finds. Thank you so much for watching. There's Melanie the hamster running around her wheel again. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And follow on Instagram and follow on Twitter at Coin Collecting Fun. Thank you so much and have a great day.